All right, so how many of you have ever gotten to your pickup or Forerunner and you go and turn the engine over and all you get is a faint click? Now, most of the time people would think, oh, that's probably the starter, I gotta replace the starter. But the thing about these old trucks is it's usually that starter relay. And uh, you can find the starter relays, but they're technically wired wrong from the factory and they're really expensive uh, you can find them used on ebay and people want like 200 dollars for them and it's just not worth it um what i'm going to show you guys today is a little mod to correct this and uh it uses a conventional relay i have seen people upgrade it and they've done the ford starter solenoid kind of deal and that works good and i don't have a problem with that but you know, my thing is, you gotta drill holes into your truck. The relay itself is really expensive. It's like 40 bucks. And, uh, you know, this just uses a conventional relay. You can get this at, like, pretty much any auto parts store. And they're just dirt cheap on Amazon. You know, if you're worried about it, buy two, throw one in your glove box. And if it ever goes out, you just pop it in. You know, you don't need any tools. Just click it in there, and you're good. Um... I've also seen people cut the uh, little wire on the harness, run that directly to the battery, and that works good too. You can always do that, but the thing about that is, I don't know, I'm weird about it, I guess. I don't know how other people are, but I don't like to cut up the factory harness. That's that's my thing, but, you know, that is uh, that is something you could do. It does work, but the way that I like to do it with the relay is... All you're cutting off is the original factory harness on the relay, so it plugs right in. You know, it still looks factory, and it works good. So, I don't like to make these intros too long. Let me get straight to the video here for you guys.